So the question I got asked just now is how do I know what type of Google account I have? I'm going to show you what the options are and I'm going to tell you how to determine what you have. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of these videos for you. So I started writing the list up. There are actually lots of different types of Google accounts. Number one, as with this account you're looking at right now, this is a free account. And how do I know it's a free account? Well, number one way right here. If I hover over my name, click on my name, whatever, you can see it's the email address is burrisconsulting at gmail.com. That is a free Gmail account. And like all Gmail accounts and even Google Workspace, you have access to uh, not only email, but you have access to contacts, have access to calendar, you have access to drive, and you have access to YouTube and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it is clearly, no matter where you look at it, over here, you'll see the account is a Gmail account, Burris Consulting at gmail.com. Now, let's go look at my business account. Here's one of my business accounts. Now, how do I know what kind of account this is? Well, first and foremost, if I hover over the, over the box over here on the right or the circle, you'll see that it says Google account Teddy Burris and it says TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com. That's not a Gmail email address. That's a TeddyBurris.com email address. Now, how do you get that custom domain? It's a Google Workspace account. Now, if I click on this right here, look what it says right here. This account is managed by TeddyBurris.com. You can or click on it. You can see I can go learn more, look at that document, or go to the admin console. I can only go to the admin console and do something there if I am, in fact, an admin of this Google Workspace domain. So those are the two big variations, Gmail, which is free, and Google Workspace, which is a, a, a business platform. The big difference there, it's managed by an administrator. Uh, what Google apps you have access to are determined by the administrator, how much space you can have, what you're sharing, your permissions is all managed by a Google administrator. The other variations are based upon Google Workspace, and they include this. There's Google Workspace for nonprofit. Pretty much the same thing, but it's either free or discounted. There's Google Workspace for education. Guess what? All free for educational uh, uh, organizations that qualify. There's Google Workspace for government. Uh, this is a uh, Google Workspace with a few additions and changes based on what government organizations would need and how they use it. Those are the big variations. Again, Gmail, which is free or Google Workspace and variations of Google Workspace that are managed by an administrator. And you'll know that, again, when you click on this name right here, you'll see that I either have a Gmail account or you have a account which is managed by an administrator. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.